Hello everybody, welcome back to Kraken Packs. MTG Matt here, and we have something we haven't done in a while, an Ultimate Masters Booster Box. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, that will be in on the giveaways. So, the way these battles work is everybody gets some packs, we tally up the mana value, or converted mana cost, of their Mythics and Rares, and at the end of the battle, whoever has the highest and the lowest receives a little extra. Oh my goodness, two Karns and a Lily. What are we in for? So we have six participants today. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna get these packs stacked up. We're gonna open them and uh, see how things go. Ultimate Masters can be a cruel mistress, just like Liliana herself. These things can be uh, the highest of highs, but they can also be the lowest of lows. I've already pre-randomized the spots. In the pole position, we have Lewis. In the second position, we have Corey. Then we have Clay. Old Greg is in my waters today. Brandon Ford. And then in the caboose, Tyler. So let's get started. Venge Vine pack for Lewis. Let's see how he does. God's Willing and Foil and a Rune Halo. This card was so valuable until they uh, until they reprinted it a couple times. Uh, mo like most lore and rares that saw play, they were hard to get. It was expensive. The reprint brought it down. But uh, still a good card. Pack two for Lewis. I've opened a whole lot of Ultimate Masters in my time. Foil Miming Slime and a Visions of Beyond. This card is actually pretty good now. Uh, up there in double digits in price. Let's see if we can get a couple Kadama's Reaches in the common slot. That'd be good. The uncommon slot in this set's actually pretty strong too. We got Kitchen Finks. Lots of other good stuff. Eternal Witness. Here we go. We got the Ooze. Cathodian and a Fulminator Mage. Shriekma, Mystic Retrieval, Hissing Iguanar, Gurmag Angler, that guy's good, and a God's Willing. So let's total things up here for Lewis, and he is at a six. Moving on to my man, Corey. Spirit Token. Foil Fire, nice. Sublime Archangel, that is some gorgeous artwork. If I do say so myself. Artisan of Kozilek, Verdant Eidolon, and a Unicorn to finish off the pack. Pack two. These, uh, the cardstock on this is so nice, and the foiling is so pretty, but so subtle, because they were printed in Japan. Spoils of the Vault. There we go, another one of those nice uncommons, Lab Man. Defy Gravity there, Ulamog's Crusher, and a Mammoth Umbra. Spark Elemental Token to start you off. Pack number three, Corey. Mark of the Vampire. And a Containment Priest for a two. Dakmore Salvage, Treasure Cruise, two good cards there. Let's total it up, and you are at seven. Clay, no mythics yet. Will you be the first one to get there? And you got a foil rare. It is Sovereigns of Lost Alar for six pounds of beef with a seismic assault. Eventual Rebirth, Gurmag Angler, and Generator Servant. So in one pack, Clay, you have already taken the lead. Let's see if we can find... Oh, my goodness. Sheesh. Good game, everybody. That is an help try. Double foil rare box in Ultimate Masters is very uncommon. And we're going to get trolled. That is a huge pack. Clay. Bring in the beef. Go in the town. That is a 13 CMC pack. Incredible. Eldrazi Conscription and Foil looks really super nice, too. All right, Clay. 
Might as well, uh, might as well hit an Eldrazi to go with it, right? And it's just a Rebel Arc for five. Sly of Hand, Treasure Cruise, Angel of Despair. Such cool cards. Ingot Chewer. Let's get this stack straight. Five more there. And 27 for Clay. Holy moly. I don't think there's going to be any catching Clay. But we got old Greg in the house. He's going to offer us some Baileys from a shoe. Woodfall Primus for eight. Oh, my goodness. Old Greg has got a strong start. Don't know if he can catch old Greg unless we spike one of the Eldrazi. But the Woodfall Primus is a good start. Pack number two. Foil, foil, and a Fauna Shaman. Nice hit there. Really love this card. Really love the artwork. Gives me World of Warcraft vibes. Just saying. Murderous Red Cap. That, he, he, it just freaks me out. Magma, Walker of the Grove, Wild Mongrel, and a Double Cleave. The, uh, I remember when this came out, it was like around Christmas time of 2018. And we did a draft of it at my local store. And I drafted a, uh, a green and black deck that was full of Gurmag Anglers, Wild Mongrels, Basking Root Wallas. It was so good. All right, pack three for you, old Greg. And you got Pam. Pam making an appearance. Young Peasy, Chainer Edict, Last Gasp, and Spark Spitter. Gonna be an 11 for old Greg. No Mythics, where are they hiding? Brandon. I opened this one like a noob instead of ripping the tab. But here we go, first pack for Brandon. Fun story about Brandon, Thespian Stage. He's actually the one that taught Spencer how to play magic. Who knew? It's a small world after all. All right, pack two for Brandon. The good thing about Thespian Stage is you can turn it into a better land, right? Foil Young Peasy, that's a nice little hit. And a Sovereigns of Lost Alara for six. Is this gonna be a no mythic box or is that back row gonna be lit? About to find out. Pack three for Brandon. Fingers crossed. That's, look at those patchwork gnomes. And it's a through the breach for five. Anger is a beefy uncommon. Basking root wallet. Soul's fire. And Brandon, you're at 11. All right, Tyler. Is that caboose going to be kind? Will you be our first mythic to find out. I need to know. Sheesh! Mana Vault. Let's go. It took us forever to get here, but we finally got here, and it's one of the beefy mythics. Mana Vault in the house. Kitchen Finks, Lab Man. What a pack. Those two uncommons with that Mana Vault. Straight heat. That was a very high-pitched sheesh, too, right? So, uh... If you're wearing headphones, I apologize. I just got excited. This box was kind of kind of dragging along until that happened. Woke me up a little bit. Spider Umbra. Oh my goodness. Back to back mythics. This one's the Venge Vine. Woo! Okay, Tyler. You're gonna be the hamburglar of the battle, it looks like. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna write you down for four more there. If you got a third mythic here, if you get a third mythic, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. Sigil of the New Dawn. Oh my gosh. Back to back to back mythics, and it is Big Mike, the Unhollowed. That is insanity. Slippery Boggle eating a fish. I'm in pure shock and awe right now. I don't think I've ever hit three mythics in a row like that. They were all in Tyler's stack. Wowzers. Disbelief. That's 11 for Tyler. Let's do a recap. We got Lewis at six, Corey at seven, Clay at 27. Wow, 27. Old Greg, Brandon, and Tyler all tied with an 11. 
let's open these last packs. Don't know if we'll get another Mythic. Typically, three is what we get out of Uma Box. Um, but we did get two foil rails in Tomb. Big hit. This card has actually went up a bit lately. I think it's pushing $30 or so now. Could be wrong. That feels right. You can tell me one way or the other. So, a little bit of in Tomb action there for Lewis. He's going to take home seven CMC total. Corey, you're up next. Let's start things off with a spark. Oh my gosh. This box is insane. And the man land. Celestial Colonnade. Buried alive. Kodama's Reach. So the issue we've just ran into because Corey hit the man land, we have a tie for the low spot thus far. So we're going to have a little bit of a sudden death playoff. Clay. Verdant Eidolon. And the Lava Claw Reach Around. E Witness. Opal Snout. And a resurrection. So back to back man lands. But Clay, you're still in the lead. Nobody was catching you with that 27. Old Greg. Last pack. Can we get something cool? Phyrexian Altar. Where is it at? Foil Sly of Hand. That is actually a really cool card. And Squee Goblin Naboo. Terramorphic Mark of the Vampire. And a Heliod's Pilgrim. 14 there for old Greg. Brandon Ford. All right. Brandon, good luck in your last pack. And it is, wow, four mythic box, baby. This is, this is actually like four mythics, two foil rares is really uncommon in Ultimate Master. So this is a, this is a good box. Lava Spike to go with it too. Wowzers, did not see that happening. Two foil rares, four mythics. Of course, Tyler got Tyler got three of them, dude. Tyler got three of them. All right, here we go, Tyler. Last pack, Martyr of Sands. Gorgeous artwork there. And you're going to, wow, nice hit with the gamble. That's a good card. That's that red tutor that makes you pitch a card, which is usually a card you tutored for. But nonetheless, that's a solid 20 bucks. So let's finish up the totals. We got Lewis at seven and Corey at seven. That's a tie for the low spot. We got Clay sitting up top with a 27. Old Greg at 14. Brandon at 11 and Tyler at 12. So what we have to do, we have to do a sudden death battle for this low spot, right? So we got Lewis, we got Corey, and let me verify these sevens here. So we got one, four, five. Lewis the seven is correct. Corey's got four, six, seven we do have to battle this out so whoever has the highest cmc out of their sudden death pack takes that low spot lewis you're up good luck to you and your number is going to be four Corey, you have to beat four can you do it do you have it in you four is a solid total Let's see what happens here. And Dream Shackle Geist is not going to get there, Corey. So that means by sudden death, Lewis takes a low spot. So, Lewis, you're going to snag two collector boosters. You're going to get a Hunt and a Val collector boosters. So, congratulations. Clay, with his beefy 27 total, grabs the topper. But we're going to random off a pack of double feature. So let's put everybody else in the uh, the randomizer here. Let's see, Brandon and Tyler. We're gonna roll the dice. That is a four. So whoever is on top after four rolls receives the bonus pack. That's three and one more time. And Tyler, you're on top. So that means you snag the bonus pack. So I'll tell you what, since I feel bad like how this box went, Tyler got three Mythics and a bonus pack. I'm going to give every, when I ship this out, I'm going to give everybody a pack of something just for, just for good feels. Jar Ludafish for good feels. But uh, let's open these bonus packs for everybody. Tyler, silver screen time, baby. Let's go. I like this set, this, this product a lot better 
than I thought I would. I'm going to be completely honest. Headless Rider and the Sprout. All right, two collectors here for Mr. Lewis Clinton. If I can get these open, these, uh, a lot of people complain they think these are resealed. They're not. It's just a new packaging, a new sealing process. It, it's like completely new. And, and I've seen so many people say they got resealed packs. You didn't get resealed packs. They're just, uh, it's just, they're just different. Jacob Halkin Inspector. Olivia's Wrath. Lantern Flare. Showcase, showcase. Bloodcaster and Harker's Journal. Not a ton there. You did get a foil mythic. Let's see that Renin 7. We also will take. Woo! I was about to say we'll take an Arlen the Pax Hope. This is not the alternate, but uh, you know what? We'll take it. Vanquish the Horde. Florian. And Geist Flame Reservoir. We did get a Renin 7 emblem, so uh, not a bad pack. And then Clay, this is what we've all been waiting for. It's been so long since I've opened a Ultimate Masters Topper. I'm super excited. This could be really good. This can be really bad. We're about to find out which way it's going to go, and it's going to go. No, it's not too bad. That's, that's like a mid-hit. Life from the Loom. All right, guys. Do appreciate you joining me tonight. Hope you have a good day. I love your faces, and we will catch you in the next one.